What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's show we're going to be introducing you guys to a brand new finishing aid that is going to make your concrete life so much easier. So we're going to go over all the benefits of Slab Saver as well as a little bit of how-to advice so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So we all know that finishing concrete in the full sun on a hot day can be challenging. And now with all the type one L cement that's being used in a lot of the concrete mixes, man, it is even tougher than ever. And Slab Saver is not only gonna help you with all of that, but it is also incredibly useful on stamped concrete as well. And I mean, whether you end up needing it that day or not, I mean, this is just one of those things that you don't wanna be without on a job site. So we're gonna go over the benefits of Slab Saver and then head out to a job site for a little bit of how-to advice. So Slab Saver is a finishing aid, so the number one thing that's gonna do for you, it is, is gonna help you finish concrete, especially in adverse conditions. Um, now, first of all, when it comes to type 1L cement mixes, I mean, anybody who's poured those the last couple of years, you just know how sticky this stuff can get. Uh, on those days where it is just super, super sticky, man, I'm telling you, this stuff here will let your float glide across it, and it is going to be so much easier even from the very, very beginning. And not just type 1L cement mixes. I mean, any kind of concrete that just seems a little bit sticky that day, uh, from the very first bowl float, slab saver is going to be the key. Now, obviously the big thing here in adverse conditions is gonna be hot weather. And so whether it's type 1L cement, whether it's just good old fashioned Portland cement concrete, if you can get that, mm-hmm. Mmm, so good and tasty. But obviously hot weather, sunshine, this is the stuff that is gonna make concrete hard to work with and hard to finish. And so Slab Saver, you know, even if you use it in the very, very beginning, cause you needed it during the floating process, when you get all the way to the end, whether it's a broom finish, whether it's a hard trial, no matter what, you just get to a point where there's just not enough moisture left in that concrete and you have to add something to it to help you finish it. It's always tempting to spray a little bit of water on it, but we all know that that is a bad idea. But Slab Saver will not only work way, way better than that, but it's also safe for your concrete. And so anytime that it is gonna be a really sunny day and that temperature is going to be above 70 degrees honestly you just always want to have some slab saver ready to go and the other thing about this would just be concrete you know whether it's in hot weather or adverse conditions or not but if you've got some concrete that you just got behind on and it is past its finishing window well slab saver will help you rub that stuff back up so next on the list is going to be using this with color hardener and you know if you've ever used color hardener you know that there are times that you, there's just not enough moisture in the concrete you need to add a little bit something to it and we've tried a lot of different things over the years and, and had pretty good success with a few of them but slab saver just seems to work better than anything else not only is it going to uh, you know give you that little bit of extra moisture when you need it in a safe way but it's just gonna help that color harder not you know dry out as fast and it'll lead to nicer products for stamped concrete now speaking of stamped concrete I mean this stuff also works just fine on integral color it is completely safe as long as you use this stuff as directed uh, you can use it on integral color and it will not change anything you know, one of the things with stamped concrete, especially on a hot day, is how that surface can just crust over and slab saver is something that is gonna help you get it rubbed back up and ready to stamp, but it's also gonna set that top back just a little bit and it is gonna greatly reduce those tears that you get in stamped concrete. And another great thing is that a little goes a long way. Now, this isn't just a benefit. This is also kind of one of those things that, you know, we try to harp on is to not overuse the product. But when you use this stuff right, as in like during the floating process or even as a finishing aid, I mean, we're talking five, six, even 700 square feet a gallon. So, you know, this isn't something that you're going to use like a five gallon pail every day if you're doing backyard patios. But, and of course, just like all the products here at Deco Crete, this stuff is made in the USA right in Downton, Ohio. And and speaking of Ohio, we're going to head out to a job site in Portage Lakes to go over how all this stuff works. So the great thing about Slab Saver is we don't have to mix anything with it. There's no measuring, none of that. All we got to do is just dump it straight out of the bucket right into our sprayer. Uh, it's available in one gallon or five gallons, so it's up to you depending on how much you need. Now, when it comes to sprayers, I mean, don't get me wrong, this stuff sprays really, really nice. And I mean, it will spray out of a cheap little plastic sprayer, but on an actual real real job site, I mean, I would definitely recommend some sort of a sprayer like this one here from Chapin. 
So when do we need slab saver? Well, I mean, it's just one of those things that's gonna depend and it's gonna be a little bit different every day. Now, for a job like this, using color hardener, I mean, again, it is probably gonna be an everyday thing, especially in the summertime, especially when the sun's on you, a little bit of wind. Uh, it's just gonna help you in so many different ways. Not only do we need this to help work that color hardener in, but it's also gonna keep that top uh, nice and pliable for us just so we can stamp it nice without getting as many tears. Now, if this is not a color hardener job or it's not even a stamp concrete job, I mean, it's kind of one of those use as needed kind of things. And, you know, depending on how pull, how tight you pour, depending on, you know, again, the weather conditions, this might be a most job thing. But the biggest thing I would avoid would be that if you're pouring on plastic or if you poured a really, really high slump and there's a lot of bleed water on the surface, adding something like this to a surface like that is just a bad idea. That's just gonna dilute things even more and it's not gonna help you at all. Again, if there's tons of bleed water there, there's no reason for anything like this. And the other thing about Slab Saver is, you know, this is something that is meant to be worked into the concrete. This is not just a spray it and let it go kind of thing. If we're gonna do that, it's just gonna evaporate off. It's not gonna do any good for us and we might as well not have done it. So the process would be to spray it to the surface and you would need to work it in pretty much immediately, at least within a few minutes, to make sure it doesn't evaporate. And during you know, the pouring and floating process, this is one of those things that's just gonna get worked in with the bowl float. During the finishing process, or if it's a smooth finished floor, well, it's obviously gonna get in worked in with a steel trowel or maybe a power trowel, whatever it might be. The biggest thing is that we're gonna using this as we need it. We're not just gonna spray this on just to spray it. Now, when it comes to spraying it on the surface, this is not a water hose. We are not trying to douse this thing. It is a fine mist. And there is no reason to go and just hammer this thing right away. The best thing to do is just give it a mist, try to work it, see where it's at. I would much rather have to add a little bit more than to spray too much on right away. Now, if you're using this during the early stages, during the floating and the screening process, well, again, look at the coverage rates. It, you think compare this to spraying sealer and we should get way more coverage out of this even than, than spraying sealer and we know how fine of a mist that is so biggest thing is use it when you need it and only when you need it and only spray enough on to get you what you need well guys that's pretty much it for this week's show thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune into this video and man we really really do appreciate all the support that you guys show our youtube channel our facebook page and everything else so from all of us here at Deco Cree TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.